guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Fucks Given Crew. How's it going? Sherry here. Um, so I just wanted to get a couple messages out to you. First of all, I want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for all your donations and your love and support that you've shown me. Um, I wouldn't be here without you guys and I wouldn't be doing this without you guys. So thank you so much. Um, also, I just wanted to mention that um, I'm going to be putting out the Twin Flame readings and the Yin Yang readings earlier uh, for the patrons. And then uh, also the extended readings for the Patreons out earlier. So I'm going to be catering to them a little bit more than YouTube. Um, but I s will try to give you um, a full comprehensive uh, reading. To be a Patreon, basically you just click the link on uh, my home page here. And it will take you to uh, the Patreon page. And here... Um, by supporting me by um, you know pledging a dollar a month two dollars a month five dollars a month um, not only do you get great rewards from it but you're also helping me um, supporting me um, so that I can get my books out to you guys and the cards so it requires a you know a hefty um, down payment in order to get the cards out to you so um, I'm hoping you guys will help support me in that way but also you know um, it, it allows me to um, continue to produce great videos for you guys weekly so the the first tier would be getting the twin flame reading early and that's a pledge for a dollar so you can also receive this early bird offer if you are a member as well so in the member section, um, I will be uh, linking the videos in this little player here. Okay, so um, so you can get that in two sites. So for two dollars a month, you get the extended version of the Twin Flame reading. So the third tier is the extended reading. Uh, for all of them, the yin yang, the twin flame, all for five dollars. So you can also purchase these extended readings on my website if you click this link above here. Go to extended readings and it'll open you to the store. So um, I'm not doing any private reading for a while so I can concentrate on my book and the cards and getting those published out to you. Um, so I've taken out that section and I've replaced it with um, the extended versions. So, you know, clicking on any of these will allow you to buy each reading individually or you can buy all three. So individually it's 1111, um, all three together is 2222. So once you've purchased um, the reading, I will get an email and then I will send you uh, a link to an unlisted video uh, through YouTube. I'll also start doing the zodiac signs, so I'll be doing twin flame readings um, for specific zodiac signs. So um, there'll be 12 videos put out. Now I'm going to start doing them once a month first, and we'll see how um, how it goes. And then you know if it is received well, then I'll start doing them maybe biweekly. We'll see. So yeah, a little bit of changes. Um, I'm also not going to be doing uh, private readings for a while uh, so that I can concentrate on the book and the cards and getting those out to you guys. Uh, again, thank you guys for your love and support. Um, my heart is just full of love for you guys. All right, cheers. Hi guys, how's it going? Sherry here. Mm, I hope it's not going to be that yellow. Hi guys, how's it going? Sherry here. Um, how? <laughs> so I just have a couple of messages that I wanted to get out to you guys. Um, first of all, <laughs> God. Hi guys, how's it going? Sherry here from No Fucks Given Crew. How's it? 
oh my god oh divine feminine how's it going so this is going to be a yin reading for um april the first until the seventh i hope you're all doing whoa hope you're all doing well interesting the queen of pentacles just popped out so um the queen of pentacles showed up a couple of times in the twin flame reading um yeah so you'll have to watch that to get further understanding but basically i think there was a desire of the masculine to manifest the the queen of pentacles in his life in the 3d okay just a uh, card just fell out just one minute actually let me just pause it okay another court card so this is the queen of uh, sorry the um the page of wands so that's all about um beginning a new adventure um, something that is more spiritually aligned uh, great communication great news all right let me pull the cards before they start jumping again all right so that's i'm using different decks here uh, so this is the tarot luminati so i did this for the divine masculine reading so i'll do the same okay and for the middle part i'll use this which is tarot by Dugan, I think. Oops. And for the last row, this is Ellershaw, good tarot. one from the bottom of the deck all right so let me give my little deck here a shuffle so if I didn't mention it already this is a um, reading for April 1st to the 7th I think the card jumped out so I couldn't say that all right, let's begin. So how do you view the relationship with the masculine? Wow, the tower. You're bringing, in the, bringing this into uh, the union for the twin flame reading. So you see this as um, breaking down illusion, sudden destruction, um, illumination through destruction. So you feel that your vision of the connection is crumbling perhaps so I'm just gonna pull one clarifier five of wands Wow so this is overcoming obstacles and challenges challenges feeling that you have competition somebody's disagreeing with you so when you look at this union Wow that's um you know that's not so fun energy that I'm seeing here so hopefully the extended reading will give a little bit more clear clarity I'm going to pull um, additional cards, a past, this would be considered a present, and then a future card. So, yeah, it's, maybe you're feeling there's just too many challenges to overcome, and so you're kind of giving it a thumbs down for the moment. So we'll see what the rest of the reading says. Okay, what are you resisting? The world card. So this is completion of a major cycle. you got two major arcana so far, very powerful energy. So this is the end of the fool's journey. Um, so this is completing a cycle from 20 years up to lifetime. It's just a massive, um, you know, cycle. And so this usually is an acknowledgement from the universe for all of the hard work that you've done. Um, and, you know, it's the final piece of the puzzle being placed. So it's in your resisting position. So I'm going to pull a clarifier here. Hi, priestess. So you're resisting using your intuition or you're not listening to your intuition, you're not completing a cycle, you're not, um, you're not seeing something, you know, I'm, I'm getting a very strong message of illusions, holding on to illusions. So a message from your higher self, wow, the four of wands. So the masculine got this card twice, once in the uh, yang reading and once in the twin flame reading. So, in the Twin Flame reading, it was in the near future for the, um, for the Yang reading, I believe it was in the future position as well. Or no, it was coming in from the past. 
So here we have your higher self um, telling you to make a commitment to the masculine to celebrate the love that you two share. You know, this is confirmation of a twin flame, 1111, four wands. Um, but it's, you know, um, engagement, marriage, buying a home together and celebrating. So, you know, it could represent having friends and family around. But, you're, you know, this message from the higher self, some one card, what the heck. I didn't want to do that for every position. So the full card, this is taking a leap of faith. This is trusting, um, you know, starting a new beginning, having no attachments, no expectations. So... Hmm. So your higher self is maybe asking you to switch your perspective. If you look at these two cards here, we got a man and a woman jumping out of a tower because they have no choice. Their foundation is crumbling to the ground. And over here we have a couple rejoicing in love. And look at how beautiful their, their tower is strong. The foundation is strong. You know, very opposite energy. So it's almost like your higher self is telling you to switch perspectives. Don't see things as a challenge. Trust in your intuition and place that final piece of the puzzle, whatever that means for you. But just also to, you know, relinquish any expectations or attachments. Just take a leap of faith and trust and know that everything's going to work out. Okay, so the past position, we have the Five of Wands again, same card. So there were, you know, now we have a castle with all these dragons that are attacking this knight. Right, so in the past, you felt that there was a lot of challenges, a lot of chaos. Wow, you know, it's a lot of, um, a lot of change, for sure. So... That's coming in from the past, and you're still holding that energy in, in terms of, of how you view the relationship. So, you know, you've, you know, I'm seeing that you need to tap into your power, your strength, um, find your confidence again, and switch perspective. Present position, wow, death card, transformation. So, you know, for me, this is a positive card. It's a rebirth, death of the ego, death of the old identity. So in your present position, you feel that your old life is coming down. Your old identity is coming down. You're creating a new identity. So I see a transition from the tower to possibly the four of wands. And it all depends on your perspective, I guess. So, yeah major energies here so so far we've got three major arcanas and the four of wands i treat that as a major arcana as well the future position nice the eight of wands so this could represent communication it's everything lining up um it's accelerated motion it's excitement enthusiasm so it's also you know um cupid's arrows as well love coming towards you so this vibration of chaos and death and destruction is, is turning into something more positive and uplifting in the future. You know, this is seeing the finish line and then stepping on the gas pedal. So, you know, just accept whatever this transformation is because it's going to work out. Just, you know, just like I was saying before, use your intuition. Um, message from the universe, Five of Swords. So the masculine actually got this card uh, a couple of times in his reading, and this is how he viewed the relationship. Five of Swords is conflict, defeat, it's winning at all costs. So the universe is telling you to put down the swords, stop fighting in meaningless battles, stop engaging in conflict. You know, if there's too much at, at stake, then, you know, if the winning causes too much destruction, then you need to walk away, right? 
and you can see in the background here there's somebody who's knelt over and you know they just feel defeated but at the same time the sun is rising in the back right and dawn of a new day your external environment is the page of Pentacles so this is a brand new beginning the page is beginning a new venture a new job going back to school so this is commitment to a long-term goal so this is coming in your external the masculine got the ten of pentacles twice in the future so there might be a connection there also the queen of pentacles kept on showing up um, the sense of home manifested into the 3d is a possibility there uh, so this could also be communication in the three 3D. But what I see here is a decision made and a commitment to that decision. And what do you fear? Wow, the Ace of Cups. So the Ace of Cups is again a new beginning of love and this card comes with conditions that you must heal your heart, forgive yourself, forgive others and be truly open to receiving love into your life. But you fear that. You fear giving of yourself. Your higher self is telling you to open up, but you feel that things are are um, being destroyed, and they're being destroyed so that real truth, real love can come in. You know, the falseness is being destroyed so that truth, true love can enter your life. Okay, and what is the overall energy is this Eight of Cups. So, yeah, I mean, you can see that you're letting go and walking away. You know, leaving this emotional turmoil behind you. The Sacral Chakra was the overall energy for the Twin Flame reading. So there's definitely, an, you know, and this card kept on showing up a couple times as well. So um, that emotional loss is definitely a theme you know and opening up that blockage will help you move forward and that means expressing your emotions connecting with people um, mending broken bonds but also leaving the past behind you um, you see here there's eight cups that this person is leaving behind they hold no value for them anymore so here we got this movement towards a new beginning, a spiritual quest, leaving the past behind as an overall energy. And you can definitely see it reflected here. Uh, it all depends on whether or not you see it as a major obstacle, you know, or something that can be embraced. It's all about perspective. So there is a completion of a cycle happening. Allow that transformation. Okay, so I'm going to pull one card as a final message from the universe and then I'll do the extended version. So the extended version um, is available to uh, my patrons and the link will be in the description box below. They will also eventually be available for purchase on Vimeo as well. Okay. Mermaid with a baby alligator. So this card talks about resiliency as well. Um, this card actually showed up um, in the masculine reading, but it turned up as a reverse card. Um, I can't remember the name of it, but it had the exact same meaning of being resilient, bending with the wind. Okay. My buoyant baby, slight and new, rugged leather lined with dew, firm and fit, poised to attack, falling forward, snapping back. A bathing beauty keeps a close watch over her baby, th baby a thick-skinned, striped alligator hatchling. The young reptile's sharp teeth and rough exterior are, are in sharp contrast to his mistress's delicate loveliness. So the, mem um, the message is, remember your resilience. Life can be tough, and lately things have taken their to emotional toll. There we go with that emotional toll again. Eh? 
Yet in spite of everything, you are doing all right. You're not just a victim of your circumstances. You are a survivor. Like the alligator, you have the courage, strength, and hardiness to deal with any challenge and to handle life's setbacks with renewed determination. You've been blessed with all the tools necessary to maintain a sense of well-being, be it patience, faith, or even a sense of humor in the face of adversity. You have what it takes to remain resilient, even though the tough times will not be going away anytime soon. Focus on your resilience and you will come out stronger. Yeah, so again, it's pointing to that feeling of overcoming obstacles. Things are, are difficult right now. It's taking its toll on you, but concentrate on the positive aspects of your life and it will change. That energy will start becoming more positive. The finish line is almost there. Okay, so I'm going to stop the reading there and I will be doing the extended version. All right.